Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. Today I want to tell you a story and uh, to tell you this story I have to say something first. Uh, one of my works, I used to do three or four different works but very similar except for one. I was saying one of my work is to receive pieces, mount, taking pictures, writing the uh, assembling instructions for static and also RC models that uh, some uh, publisher, editors sell in, uh, with pamphlets in 100, 99, 120 different weekly uh, issues. To understand, I show you this one is one of the last I made. This also, and now I'm making this. What is this? Eurocognia is something. These are wonderful models. I have made uh, a lot of this and um, I receive the pieces but they are prototypes. So my models are a little bit different from the model you can buy uh, in the bookstore or, or where do they sell. I can't keep every model. So after one year, two years, I decide to sell them. I put on eBay and I say I sold a lot of things. And the last one gave me a very bad surprise because uh, uh, after a few months on eBay, I want uh, something less than what you have to pay for the entire model with pamphlets and so on. Uh, but I ask, uh, I think, uh, the right price. It's about 1,000 euros each. At the end, I sold it to a very nice guy that lives in Thailand and uh, he uh, restores, he works on real Alfa Romeo and the model was uh, this one that is the mythical Carabinieri Alfa uh, we were very happy because uh, he was happy to uh, to buy the car I was happy to sell it to a so nice person but when he received the car I, he was very upset and he wrote me uh, I don't want it too much damages the car was perfect I've packed it as better I thought and as I, I've sold a lot of them I've never had damages so my packaging I think were good I don't know what happened but he had a lot of damages, really a lot. The car was uh, almost destroyed, too much parts. Some parts uh, popped out, uh, perhaps they throw the box and crash it uh, and so. Other parts uh, uh, is broken. I'm very sorry for this, money back and uh, he after um, a lot of mails, uh, he's a very nice person and he understood that it wasn't my fault but uh, according to, to the law, uh, the transporter is not responsible and this is, I, have, I still have to understand why. I give you something and you break this something, you have to pay for it. I don't have to pay. Anyhow, the car is returned back. I had to pay 55 euros of uh, custom. And uh, 
really, I wanted to throw it away. I was so upset that uh, I really, I think, okay, into the trash. I don't want to hear no more. I'm disgusted from this. But I said, Nani, this is not a way. Keep calm, take a breath, start working. You are able to fix it. And I start fixing. Uh, now I show you something about fixing. Starting from the roof, this pop it out. This was badly broken. I have I had to joint to glue this again to make this new piece uh, that is the the, 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 the the shaft to move the the lamp from inside the car. Then the lead was broken. Now I have to reconnect the lead and to fix these bad parts. I have a paint, a chrome paint that works very well. And uh, obviously this came out, but this is normal because it's mounted just with pressure. Then the mirror, this part, uh, it, like the the like the roof uh, were popped out just to push down and uh, this wheel was badly removed under the car you see these are parts that uh, popped out over broken this is missing a piece here here is missing a piece this is the damper from this side. I worked on this side. Uh, the steering rod was broken, so I, I fix it in this way. Then I will paint in black, but it works pretty well. And uh, what else? Some pieces were popped out, uh, uh, not destroyed, but uh, now I have to work on this wheel because this is not connected. And uh, this is the dampers that come from here. This is a part of, of the uh, brake. Uh, um, I don't remember the name. La pinza dei freni. You understand in Italian? Pinza dei freni. Okay. And uh, here there are some pieces that I have to, to work on. This is the handle of the glass. This is the part for the, 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 the front lamp, other little pieces. This seat, front seat, just came out. It's normal that it slides, but he has not a stopper. Returning on the body, there are some grid damages. Here, the bumper has crashed and squeezed on this corner and on that other corner and this is what i mean about my work uh, and uh, this was very useful to me because uh, uh, to fix the rear bumper i didn't remember how it is mounted but this is how so i have to remove the gummy parts undo the two screws keep the bumper out, then repair it and mount it again. This is very helpful for me and this is to show you my work. This is part of my work, step by step. These are the instructions, the pieces they give you with this exit and the work you have to do. And this is it. Then uh, this window has broken here. I've fixed it, but now I have to hide this crack. I don't know if it will be possible. Could be a, a, a damage from uh, a, a, a car cheese. Okay, I can see inside nothing to say. This is the door, you see. Everything is popped out. There's another broken glass this one to fix this one i have the keys it's not nice to see that 
I can cut and place it here down as it is opened a little bit just to refresh the inside of the car. The door opening is not perfect, but this is a defect of the prototype. Inside I have fixed the radio, this carpet over the, the gearbox. And uh, yes, now I have to fix here. The, the, the tires are mounted in, in a way that can, they can pop out, but it's not a problem. You can put, you see also this tire, perhaps I will glue them. It's, it was not required. Just to show you what happened. This is the disc brake, exploded. How could it happen? Now there's a great work to take all these pieces, glue them together, paint, refinish, mount in place, the wheel on, damper brake caliper caliper this is the name at the end i remembered okay lot of work lot of work but uh, i like this work i want to this is a challenge to me well you understand i i, I was very really disappointed about uh, the transport uh, i i was really happy for the contact with my client and he's a very nice person when i finish this car uh, i i will contact him and ask do you want it again for sure i have to find a super safe shipping method and uh, i will do i have in mind a, a sponge bowl not not the one it's really a sponge bowl i cover with sponge in the way you can push on the ground and ne nothing happens. Obviously, this is a cost, but I don't want to be disappointed once again. I don't want to show you the finished work. Uh, it's too long, but you can imagine I will fix everything as best as I can. And as I'm a professional, I think that uh, the result will be very nice. Uh, so uh, this is a major message for my client. Uh, uh, I'm very sorry for what happened, but I'm very pleased to offer my work to repair to you. So the price, uh, if you want, uh, will be the same. And uh, to you all, I think that uh, this is correct. When you sell something, you, have, you are responsible for this something. That's why I want you to comment, like and subscribe this wonderful video. And uh, up to the next to everyone. Bye bye. Ciao. always had problems with doors.